Hi guys, this is William and welcome to video 9 where we're going to quickly look at how to make inventory items draggable. So what that means is you will have an inventory object that you will click on and your actual mouse cursor then will change to the picture of that inventory item which allows you then to, to use it in the scene. Okay, so I have a key, I click on the key from my inventory and that then changes into the key picture and that becomes my active cursor like you've seen in many adventure games. So what we're going to do first, we need to enable specific settings for this functionality to occur. So the first place we need to go is to the interfaces right there and then I'm going to click on cycle icon interface, click on walk to because the walk to is my mouse cursor. If I go to the cursors and I choose walk to, see there, that's my mouse cursor. That's the one I want to, uh, that should be the active command. I click on the inventory item and then my inventory, my mouse cursor changes into that inventory item. So back in the interfaces, walk to, I'm going to click on command properties and I need to tick items can be dragged with this command. So ensure that is ticked. That's the first thing you need to do. Okay, the next thing is go to game properties and tick allow dragging of items from inventory. That's the second thing you need to do. So now if I run my game and I pick up my key and then I have my walk icon and I choose it, you can see my cursor has changed into the key. But there is no interaction yet with anything in the scene. And that's what we need to set now. So go back to your scene and I'm going to choose hallway and then the door. That's where I'm going to have this interaction occur. So I am going to add a new action and I'm going to choose the command as walk to. And then here on the item, I'm going to see say key. So when we use the key, with the door, something will occur. But there's one more thing we need to set here, and that is the execution type. It needs to be set to item dropped. If it's not, it will not work, right? So now I'm just going to add my display text and say door is unlocked. And run my game. And now use that on the door and door is unlocked. So I'm just going to quickly remove this. It's not necessary for you to set a command here. You can just item dropped key and display text. And there we go. So not strictly necessary to, to put a command in there, but just item dropped key. And then a character can uh, say whatever he needs to say. All right, guys, so that is this video, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.